This content is being produced by the podcast Bourbon Real Talk. The usual show format is to do a live review of a whiskey with a guest who tells their personal story. The purpose is to expose the world to the lives of people they may not have otherwise come in contact with. The goal is to reduce division and form new connections. Occasionally, we produce content that is meant to be educational like this program. For more information about Bourbon Real Talk, you can go to our website at bourbonrealtalk.com where you can sign up for our email list or we can be found on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Play, and iTunes by searching Bourbon Real Talk. Enjoy. Hello, everybody out there. Randy Sullivan here with Bourbon Real Talk. Going to do a real quick review of a whiskey that I've been getting a lot of questions about lately. So if you've been paying attention um, to my podcast and some of the bonus material I've released, obviously, I am a huge fan of Balconies and the Texas Whiskey Trail, Texas Whiskey Association, and I've been giving you guys a lot of information about some of the Texas whiskey producers. This is a bottle that is really amazing. This is the Rumble Cash Strength from Balconies down in Waco. And a lot of people that I know that even, you know, haven't really developed an appreciation for Texas whiskey still kind of think this is neat. So this is a very unique spirit. It's actually technically not a whiskey. Um, whiskey has to come from grain, and this uh, says that it comes from wildflower, honey, turbinado sugar, and mission fig. So it's, it's a little bit different, um, but extremely tasty. And my good friend, uh, Christopher Hart, down in HBS, who has an amazing podcast. If you're not listening to it, you should check it out. Is also a big fan of this whiskey, and I think he and I are both begging the distillery to allow us to be the first ones to do a barrel select of it because it is so unique, and most of the people that I've given this to thought that it was a very, you know, tasty spirit. So um, I actually haven't had the Rumble Cash Strength in a good bit. Part of the reason for that is I'm told that they typically release this one time per year in November. And since uh, it is currently July, uh, it would be odd to find one. But somehow, um, some snuck out in the wild. And somebody that knew that I was interested in this uh, called me from a store and said, hey, I found some bottles. Do you want them? So I bought everything that they had. So um, this has a very uh, sweet nose. It is floral. There's definitely some honey component. And I'm getting a little bit of a cinnamon um, component that's coming through. And that may actually be from the cask. I don't know. Uh, Balconies uses a uh, European oak, a Hungarian oak cask. And I usually get a lot of cinnamon on that. So let's see how it tastes. Wow, that's bright. So um, for those of you who are used to seeing my reviews of whiskey, I, I have to give a fat shout out to Raymond Taylor, who was kind enough to give me some positive uh, criticism. And he pointed out to me that you're not supposed to swish the whiskey. Um, and I learned how to taste in the wine world. So in wine, you swish the wine to coat your palate, but also to aerate. Uh, but just, you know, violently shaking a whiskey can disturb the molecules and actually affect its flavor. So I'm trying to learn not to swish through my tea. Thank you, Raymond, for pointing that out. Um, on the palate, very bright flavors. You can definitely taste the fig coming through. Um, kind of a plum type flavor as well. Cinnamon there, obviously vanilla. Don't breathe the whiskey. A little bit of dark chocolate coming through as well. Um, very complex, very sweet. Um, I really like this. This would be more of like an after dinner drink type whiskey than you know what we would typically be drinking with a rye or or a bourbon. Um, but the flavors are very bold, and this would also be one. And this is a cash strength version as well, but. This would also be one that you might want to throw an ice cube in there. 
right? You might want to chill this out a little bit. It's sweet enough that chilled, it might actually taste more like a cocktail. But anyway, love this whiskey. If you ever see a uh, Rumble Cash Strength, I recommend that you pick it up just to give it a whirl. And if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. As always, I love you guys and talk to you soon.